Did he catch you? No. No, he didn't. I was too quick for him. I grabbed the typewriter, jammed his fingers in, and typed you bastard all across his knuckles. That's a good sign. Did you have your clothes on? I think so. Did he? Why? Do you secretly fantasise about your husband in a naked love log with the General Secretary of the Central Committee of the All-Union Communist Party of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics? I just wondered if he was hairy. shows once. A woman responds to the economic woes of post-revolutionary Russia by opening a bordello in a cramped Moscow apartment. Madame Zoika. There was at one point, as I recall, a more or less naked woman upon the stage. There may have been. I disapproved. The following night, I disapproved more strongly still. And on the third night, while well, now taking my place in the front row of the stalls, well, you can imagine the full extent of your disapproval. You made uh, eye contact. <laughs> she smiled at me. Doctor, my husband is very ill. It's just nerves, I think. Still working, is she? Sorry? But that actress? I believe so. I'm not sure where. But you could find out, could you? He's, he's losing weight. He won't eat. He feels sick. He's tired all the time. You can tell her that I'm a doctor and that I'm single. Or at least I am for all practical purposes. Oh, and I have my own dentures. Tea. <laughs> Sergei Rostanovich, comrade. Shop work at the Red October Engine Factory. And what is he doing in our cupboard? Assigned by the Housing Committee. So who did you expect? Do you know where you are? Directly beneath the Kremlin. When they were building the metro, it was my idea. Secret passageway? to a snug little cubby hole for yours truly. And now look, here we are, just the two of us. <laughs> Why don't you sit down? What the? I hear you're struggling. With the play, Mikhail? <sighs> it's supposed to be a surprise. But I hate surprises. Of all things in the world, I think I hate surprises. It's meant to be a secret. A secret? From me? <laughs> Which frankly is annoying, but some of the time. Anyway, you're struggling. Yes. Yes, I am. Sir. Please, Joseph. Yes, Joseph. Sir. I mean, no. It's not going well. Well, it's not going at all as I understand it. That's right. Good morning. Good morning to you, madame. We're looking for a Mr. Mikhail Bulgarkov. Can I say who's calling? What do you want? We're here to arrest you. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm only joking. I love that one. It always gets a reaction. <laughs> you must be Elena. Very pleased to meet you. I'm Vladimir. This is Stepan, NKVD. We'd like to talk to you in private. I have no secrets. Uh, from my wife. Every man says that, but you'd be surprised. Mikhail, I need your advice. They've suggested I should restructure myself. They say my next play should be about the defence of the motherland, or about the reform of some counter-revolutionary who sees the light through the purifying effects of digging a canal. 
apparently. There's quite a market for novels about counter-revolutionaries who see the light through the purifying effects of digging a canal. This is obscene. No, this is finishing the job. I will not collaborate with this. But I love it when you collaborate. No, 